In part four, we learn about what astronauts eat in outer space. Hmm. But astronauts, just like you and me, turn food into poop. <laughs> so they eat food, and then they, their bodies turn that food into energy, which they use to exercise and do science experiments and all sorts of stuff. Then the stuff they can't use, that's the poop. Where does the poop go? <laughs> Where do they poop? On the space station. Astronauts like to keep nice and clean. Here's astronaut Karen, she is washing her hair. There's not a lot of water on there, so you can't take a shower or bath. And I like to take my towel while I have the shampoo in there and just kind of work it. Because without standing under running water, you kind of need to use the towel a little bit to help get some of the dirt out. Astronaut Luca, how do you wash your hair? And that's it. Thank you. Oh, you silly. Astronaut Chris getting a haircut. So they have to have a vacuum on the trimmer. That way they make sure that all the hairs get sucked up and they don't go floating around like into people's faces and stuff. Yeah. Well, I'm assuming a shower will be like right in there. I mean, I'm actually clean up here. You know, my hair is clean and you know, we have, we take sponge baths literally. And so you're clean, but there's just nothing about like being, you know, actually in a shower, I think. Here we are at the throne. The throne? This is awesome. You might see the little, um, you might have noticed the little moon on the outside. This is our orbital outhouse Where is right she? here. And of course, it serves for two functions. Number two, right here. Number two. I'll show you. That's poop. But you see, it's pretty small, so you have to have pretty good aim. You gotta and put you your be, poop in there. Be ready to make sure things get let go the right direction. And it smells a little bit, so I'm closing it up. Yeah. <laughs> and that's of course for number two. And this guy right here. What's that for? Is for number one. Number one. So it's sort of two slightly separate functions, but you can do a little, essentially both, by hanging on right here and doing number one and number two. Don't poop in. I might add, it's color-coded, so you really don't get it mixed up, which is nice. <laughs> this is yellows for number one. And uh, also, there's a selection of paper. People always ask about toilet paper. What do you do with toilet paper? What kind of toilet paper do you have? We have gloves just because sometimes it does get messy. We have some Russian wipes, which are a little bit coarse if you like the coarse type of toilet paper. We have some nice tissues, which are nice and soft if you like soft toilet paper. We have huggies um, just for any cleanup. You know, we were all babies once and this sort of helps. And then if things get really out of control, we have uh, disinfectant wipes just to make sure we clean up here. Cause you know, just like the water, I showed you the number one stuff can sort of go all over the place if you don't aim correctly. And did I mention both of these have a little bit of suction so they should keep things going in the right direction. Sucks up your poop but, and your pee. Um, like I said, sometimes things get a little out of control if you are out of control yourself flying around. So we have lots of protective stuff. And of course you do have your privacy. There's a little door. How do we wash your hands? Look closely at the camera, you can see this. It is no rinse body bath. No rinse body bath. And it's a bag with a straw. So now let's demonstrate. Okay, it's time to get clean. I'm gonna squirt some water out. Oh, there's something in that water. So we have a big ball of water and you put it on your See hand. That? And now I've got water floating around on my hand. What's in that water? And so I wash my hands up with that. And then grab a towel. And dry them off. So that's how we do it. We use no rinse. It's a special type of slightly soapy water, so you don't need to have a, a bunch of oh, fresh water is. afterwards. You squirt it, you float a ball of water in front of yourself, and then you just dry your towel. And when you're done, we just tuck our towel somewhere to let it air dry so that the evaporated water gets back into the space station and we can use that water again. Okay, so they have a vacuum that sucks up their poop. <laughs> Would you use a vacuum to suck up your poop? Hmm. 
At the end of the day, astronauts use the bathroom and they get all cleaned up. And then it's time for... <sighs> Sleep. But wait! Did you know that astronauts don't use a bed? How do astronauts sleep without a bed? Let's find out in part six.